test outside. Oh my goodness, it worked. Of course you can skip tracks. Unpause it. Next. 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 So there you go. You have a full multimedia keyboard for pretty much every single one of your devices, whether it's a laptop, cell phone, TV, or tablet. What's good everybody on today's video, we're gonna show you this awesome, inexpensive keyboard for Macs. PCs, Android boxes, and TVs. It's got a number keypad. It is a fully rechargeable lithium battery with a USB-C. It pairs instantly, does not require any drivers. And we're gonna test it out and show you how powerful and how far it goes on Bluetooth. Stay tuned for the whole video. If you own a laptop, you may want to consider getting an external keyboard. This one does have a side number pad as well. This is a very light portable one that you can take with you on the go when you're traveling. Now this does come in different colors and as you can see, it looks pretty nice. Now, uh, this is a Bluetooth QWERTY keyboard. The layout is the same as any other keyboard and it does have all of the side numbers as well. It does not come with a mouse, at least not this particular package. Very, very light, kind of reminiscent of the iPad look as well. Now, if you look really close, you have a lot of the FN keys and then this is your FN key when you press this along with any of the keys that have a blue key it will enable a secondary option. So you have your browser, this is your rewind, play, pause, fast forward, mute, increase, volume. This is your lock button, again, launching of your entertainment, your keyboard, your settings, undo, brightness, escape. Now, it can switch between Windows and Android and iOS. You can switch by pressing FNQ, FNW, and FNE. FN. Q, it says iOS, FNW for Android, and FNE for Windows. Once you switch to that mode, those function keys on the keyboard will work on that specific device. And I've tested this and they work. See, there's your command. There's your option, Alt, Control. Apple key and command. Another Apple command, another shift here. So as you can see, they pretty much thought of everything for both iOS and for PC users, which is awesome. There is no dongle, but there is a USB-C charging port right there on the side. So turn the keyboard on, on the top of the keyboard, press on. You're gonna get a green light. Now, if the charging needs to be had, the LED light will come on. So you plug in the cable into the provided USB-C port and you charge it up. Now press the connect button and then the green is gonna start flashing. This is your pairing mode. Now you can pull up your cell phone or your laptop or your iPad or your tablet and it should recognize. So let's go and pull this up right here on our laptop. This one does have Bluetooth built in. So let's click add device, Bluetooth devices and there it is, Bluetooth keyboard. So let's click on that and that's it, all done. As an example on our keyboard, Windows key E will open Windows Explorer and on here you press this command E and that will open the Explorer and Alt F4 closes it. All right, so let's test the distance of this. Bluetooth should work up to 10 meters, which is about 32 feet away. It should work through walls. So we are going to go on the other side of this wall, which is about 50 feet away um, through tiles, concrete, drywall and all that. So we're gonna go and just load up Google here and we're gonna do a quick test. Yes, it's typing, so we're gonna go back. And now we're going to just slowly walk away, about 24 feet away. So we're just gonna type something in. And yes, it works, so let's erase this. All right, next up, let's go and go a little further. That up to about here, it should work, because this is about 32 feet away. So we're gonna put test keyboard. And let's go back and test keyboard. All right, so we're gonna go erase that. And now we're gonna go a little further, 45 feet and a lot more tile. We're pretty much on the other side of the house. And we're gonna put test 50. Now this should not work. So we are quite a lot further away. Oh my goodness, it worked, test 50. That is insane. All right, let's do another test where this time we go outside. So we're gonna be about 60 feet away. Test outside. All right. Test outside, all right. Well, I'm obviously not gonna go any further. My backyard is like 40 feet that way. So I can be inside the backyard. I can't be out on the front porch and I can control devices. We're gonna try and see how it handles music tracks and volume. 
So we'll just load up our YouTube. All right, so this is one of my videos. I'm just gonna show you how this pulls up the volume. So FN, and right here we've got, so you can see right here, you see how it's controlling? There you go, so I'm just controlling. And now we can mute it or we can increase it. See that? Awesome. Now let's see if we can skip track or pause. Pause, play. Yeah. Okay, fast forward doesn't seem to work on YouTube. Nope. Let's see a search bar. Search works. Um, what's this? This is just a keyboard brightness. Email works. So yeah, all these other keys work. Escape works, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna show you how this can work on your phone. Make sure the pairing connect button is flashing. And now we should see the Bluetooth keyboard. Now we're gonna pair, yes, pair. So now if I start typing, you can see that it's actually typing away. M-A-R-C is. And you can see that it's all typing in real time. So that's cool. So you can basically pair your phone with your screen and then you can use the keyboard. Or again, if you have an Android box, you can just connect the Android box. Now they can also control tracks on Spotify or on YouTube. All right, so music's playing. Let's go and test these volume buttons. So to do that, we press FN. There you go, FN. Uh, let's mute this. There you go, it muted it. So now let's go and increase the volume. Perfect. So the volume controls work. Of course, you can skip tracks. On pause it. Next. 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 So there you go. You have a full multimedia keyboard for pretty much every single one of your devices, whether it's a laptop, cell phone, TV, or tablet. So as you can see, amazing little keyboard does absolutely everything you need to do. It's light, it's capable, it is rechargeable, so you don't need batteries, and that is a huge, huge plus. Anyways, that's the video. I hope you guys learned something, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.